On the Sabbath, they rested according to the commandment. Luke has that quirky little sentence at the very end of Good Friday. It says that Joseph had come and asked Pilate for the body and they wrapped it and laid it in an un a tomb that had not been used yet. And the women prepared the spices. But they couldn't do anything. And then Luke writes, on the Sabbath, they rested according to the commandment. Today, Holy Saturday, a day of rest. A time when the grief is so overwhelming. A time when the loss is unbearable. And yet their faith tells them on this day, every week on this day, rest. So I invite you to close your eyes. I invite you to breathe in. I invite you to rest. Holy One, you invite us to rest, to stop everything that we're doing, to just be, to take that time to be with you and in your presence. And even on this day, those disciples, those women who were heartbroken who didn't know what came next, who were full of grief, stopped and rest. So God, show us how to rest, how to be still and silent in your presence, how to invite you into this space, to be with us in all those mixed emotions that we have. To rest. We rest and we pray. We pray that prayer that is closer than our hearts. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.